Hi! So last night, I had the weirdest dream. You know those dreams that make you feel weird? Almost like anxiety or just something? Those are the dreams that fuck me up. No matter how weird a dream is, if it makes me feel something weird and off, then it's memorable the next day for me. In my dream, I was married. I can't remember if it was a girl or a guy, because I want to say she, but I'm thinking it's a he. I'm going to go with he because hashtag marriage equality, it's still a fucking issue in Australia. Anyway, so me and my partner had about four kids. Me and my partner were in love, the kids were great. So we're in our house and my partner starts having this issue. He's telling me that a voice is talking to him, like a demon or like a supernatural presence. Um, and I believe in that sort of stuff, so I was like, okay, well, easy, we'll just move house. But like a normal family, you don't just move house straight away. So we weren't in a huge rush to get out of the house. Next thing I know, my daughter is telling me, no, like, this voice is a serious issue. And places her arm on me and then and like all this experience flashes before my eyes and I see everything I almost I feel like I even saw the voice like I don't know how you can see a voice but I saw it and I heard it and it was so fucking creepy so that was it we were out of that house like straight away we did not take anything we were gone next thing I know we have to go back to the house I'm not sure why but my partner was insisting all I remember is saying like no we don't have to do this we can get new things are you sure you want to do this um so we were in the house and that's where the feeling real came in we were waiting on something bad to happen and it was like we felt the supernatural beings presence it was like our heads were cloudy and you could feel the supernatural being trying to intrude our minds <sighs> And as it got more intense, the, I'm guessing the supernatural being was like targeting my partner and I remember just holding them and I was saying like Stay strong, don't let them inside, don't, don't let, let them get, get into your mind. And it was getting so tense, everything was spinning. I was trying to keep my partner with me in reality without the voice in its head and it just got so intense and it just all erupted. And then this voice had just penetrated our minds and it was like inside our soul and it was just fucked up. I was like relieved to be awake that I forgot that the reason I was watching up was my alarm for work and it was five in the morning and I was downstairs eating my breakfast and the piercing silence and darkness was so scary. I almost felt like I was back re-entering a house again when my mind felt cloudy. I just did not want this voice to talk to me in real life. So yeah, my sleep was nice. And then it got me thinking on the topic of dreams following you into reality. Have you guys ever had a recurring nightmare? Maybe when you were younger or something? Because when I was younger, I had this recurring nightmare. Me and my family used to go camping every year to this place for Easter. And in my dream, we were at this place. It was me and my brother and we were climbing up like steep hill cliff thing that we used to always climb up when we went camping. So in my dream, we were climbing up that and I remember looking down and in real life where the dry creek bed was, it was full and flowing and in that dry creek bed was like this blue man monster figure thing just swimming so I remember just kind of watching it and like being scared but being fascinated and the next thing I know thanks mine I fell off the cliff back into the water panicking because I am in this river with some monster thing it like got me teleported me back to my bedroom and then placed its hand on me and would slowly drain power out of me and my vision was like a fuzzy analog screen I had that nightmare a few times throughout maybe the age of six or seven to eleven pretty much the exact same dream would happen I remember telling myself if you have a nightmare or you have this recurring nightmare again just bang yourself in the head it actually worked I had this recurring nightmare and when I got to the point where he teleported me into my room while he was draining the power out of me I just banged myself in the head and just like a TV channel switching I just went to a completely another random dream that I had no idea what was going on so I banged myself in the head again and again switched to another random dream banged myself in the head again and I woke up. What the fuck? So anyway, this whole recurring nightmare isn't even the creepy part yet because one day when I was at my grandma's house, I was just walking around in the living room and she had this chest of drawers with like photos and things on it, just like a normal grandparent's house. And I remember I was having a look at them all again and then up the top in the corner, I saw one that I had never actually looked at before. It was a bird's eye view painting of that monster thing that was in my recurring nightmare. What the fuck? Like, I hadn't had that nightmare in, like, a couple years. But as soon as I saw it, I recognised it from my recurring nightmare. So I asked Grandma what it was, and it was a painting that my older cousin had done in high school or something. But how fucked up is that? Like, I'd never seen that before in my life. But suddenly, the monster that used to visit me recurringly in my nightmares ends up in real life on a painting at my grandma's house. And I believe in supernatural stuff, so fuck me dead. 
But yeah, that is the story about my dream last night and my recurring nightmares. Uh, recurring nightmare story. Have you guys ever had a recurring nightmare or anything like dream like visiting you in reality? For me, a dream can be so weird and random, but those dreams that make you feel something, they're the ones that I almost hate. Anxiety level. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I've said it before, I'll see you next time. It's Britney, bitch.